It's baseball's opening day, and experts are watching to see if the Cubs will go for another historic World Series win. Celebrities and politicians will be on hand to celebrate America's pastime, with one notable exception. Take me out to the ball game. Not this year. President Trump declined the Washington Nationals' invitation to throw out the ceremonial first pitch on opening day. He cited scheduling conflicts. A surprising decision from the new commander-in-chief who discovered America's pastime long before he discovered the boardroom. Did you always know you were going to go into this business? No, I, I wanted to be a baseball player. That was no childhood fantasy. Trump was a star player at the New York Military Academy. His coach told Rolling Stone he was once even scouted by the Phillies. I was captain of the baseball team. I was supposed to be a professional baseball player. Fortunately, I decided to go into real estate instead. He's already stepped up to the mound for the Cubs, the Red Sox, and his beloved Yankees. But even the leader of the free world apparently gets nervous when he goes into his windup. George H.W. Bush, a college baseball star at Yale, was visibly upset after a wide pitch at Orioles opening day in 1992. Bill Clinton took note and tried to avoid the same fate in 1996. I practiced uh, for a week before then. I went out. And I paced off the, the distance in the backyard of the White House. Most of my practice features were much better. I think I was a little nervous. One of George W. Bush's most unforgettable moments as president came at the 2001 World Series in New York, just weeks after the attacks on America. The gravity of the moment never really hit me until the first step coming out of that dugout. Standing on the mound at Yankee Stadium was by far the most nervous moment of my presidency. So in this long history of presidential pitches started by Taft, how will Trump stack up? Well, perhaps we'll find out next season. Play ball.